European Union diplomats approved new anti-tobacco legislation on Wednesday, including larger health warnings on cigarette packets and the bloc's first rules on electronic cigarettes. The new rules are designed to make smoking less attractive, particularly to the young. In a bid to reduce the estimated 700,000 tobacco-related deaths in Europe each year. Now, hang on a minute. Let me grab my time tunnel viewing machine. So, in December last year, I reported... Ladies and gentlemen, the UK government has been subverted and it is lying to us all. This is not limited to the darker halls of power. It goes all the way to the top, all the way to the Prime Minister himself. David Cameron, let me reveal just who is calling the shots when it comes to UK control and governance. In June this year, our research team revealed an amendment to EU legislation with regard to plain packaging on tobacco products, including cigarettes. Now, through corporate lobbying, the EU directive to enforce plain packaging on all cigarettes across the EU was dropped from the EU directive. And, as supporting evidence to demonstrate that the UK Parliament is, pa is a powerless puppet show for which we are paying vast sums in taxes, I submit this article from our legislation ar uh, archives. Now, and finally, thanks to all the hard work from our webmaster, Andrew, I can now include a link to our daily newsletter where we first broke this story on tobacco. Well, the net result is that, that as the EU shifts this legislation, then David Cameron changes stance, standing in the public papers trying to make up that he's writing the policies. But he isn't. He's actually following the mandates of the European Union legislation. And that legislation is there for you to see on our website. Cheers, Top Dog Dave Cameroni, and thanks for all the fish.